This exercise involves the halter and a liberty rein and the cavaletti. I've been practicing with Jazzy going over the cavaletti at liberty and um, I thought it would be helpful to use the Liberty Rain that we just got from Buckaroo Leathers. But I also have the halter on her because sometimes I need to guide her. At first I wasn't sure how well she would respond to the Liberty Rain, but it seems that she's responding really nicely to that and even at one point when I um, touched the halter after she got used to using the Liberty Rain, she kind of pulled her head up as if to say, I don't need you to hold my halter. So um, I'm going to go with that and uh, see how she does just with the Liberty Rain very soon. I've only used the Liberty Rain with her once before and that was not trying to do anything like go over Cavaletti. That was just getting her used to sideways movement, um, forward and backward movement. So she has had really no practice. The bulk of her practice has been with Liberty Foundation training, which I teach. I'm now taking the halter off, since we don't seem to be needing it anymore. She does side-by-side -side walking with me really well. She is a very strong side-by-side -side walker. That's been the case since I brought her home last January. And uh, this is a huge part of our Liberty Foundation training. Not all horses are as strong side-by-side -side walkers. But this is the way you can really deepen your bond with your horse once you go through the preliminary steps. Now I'm really proud of Jazzy for being so responsive to me, even though there's a friend in the arena. She knows Bella and her mom, and she looks at her, but she is not going to go over there to visit. She's connected up with me enough that just a few <clears throat> touches on that Liberty Rain and she turns and comes back over the Cavaletti with me. She's not so focused on the treats that she won't come with me on our little walkabout. She really likes to do side-by-side -side walking, so I add a little bigger circle into our exercise today. She's going to drift off here, breaking connection. And as I'm on the outside, I have to walk a little faster to catch up with her, but I just touch the rein. She stops very nicely, pick it up again, and then I'm going to start a little dance around to turn her back toward the Cavalettis. Now, if I was working with her completely at liberty, I probably would have sent her off at that point when she broke the connection and then brought her back in when um, in another way, like a draw. But in this case, our connection 
has been re-established very easily and quickly. Now I'm using my bubble and my left hand, my finger is out pointing the direction I'd like her to go and really use intention when you do this. This is also a part of our Liberty Foundation work where we ask the horse to move away or move off with our cue. She's doing such a good job. I'm also doing this type of work because I want to establish longer connection times with me. Now in this case, she's looking off into the distance at something that interests her, and I do the same thing. This is called mirroring. This is part of our Liberty Foundation work. And this will go a long way in developing and strengthening your connection with your horse as you begin to work more and more. Sometimes in the beginning we, we do pretty much what the horse is doing to, um, to just be like a member of the herd. And that is definitely something that horses do together. So here we are. She's responding to the rain, using the rain just to come around very gently. There's no pulling on that rain at all. It's all very soft. And now notice also that for the most part, coming over the Cavaletti, I haven't been holding on to the rain at all. She's just been coming with me once we get that turn at the end established. It's all free side-by-side -side walking. There she is. She's done a great job. She's not focused on the treats and I'm just extremely proud of her.